Hello, I'm Blue Snob, and welcome to Building the Best. Today we're going to be looking at the Prisma Dual Cleavers, because I feel I need to cover a few more Prisma weapons, and because... Justice Blades. Now, Justice Blades is probably the most overpowered Syndicate mod in the game for weapons, I should add, because as we all know, Pilfering Hydroid is the most overpowered mod in the game. But moving on, Justice Blades gives us 100% melee damage, and the Justice proc, which heals you and gives you armor, which is insane. And honestly, I could build this weapon around that, but I'm not going to. So we're just using Justice Blades to buff out this weapon, but it's fair to say that without Justice Blades, the Prisma Jewel Cleavers would be nowhere near as effective as they are. So, looking at the weapon's base stats here real quick, we can see that the base crit chance is 25%, the base status chance is also 25%, and the crit multiplier is three times as base, which are all fantastic stats. The attack speed... Come on, Ordis. I'm in the middle of something here. The attack speed is also fairly high, but we're not going to build into any one of those particular areas, because I believe that the attack speed is high enough, not with Crossing Snakes, but with Swirling Tiger, I just prefer Swirling Tiger, gonna be honest, that this weapon can do insane amounts of damage without needing to build towards any one of these particular things. Because with a 55% status chance that I've built here with Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge to form viral damage, pick whatever damage you like, guys, just I prefer slash viral. Now, with a 55% status chance, we're going to be proccing every other hit. And with a weapon with with a weapon that has multi-hit strikes, multi-hit combos, that means we're going to be proccing, proccing pretty much every time I hit E. And the same is true of the crit damage, because the crit chance is 1 in 4, basically, but we're still getting lots of multi-hit and lots of very, very fast strikes boosted up by Fury here, so it just doesn't matter. Now, moving on, I would have put Berserker on this, or even the crit chance mod to get myself a 40% crit chance or a little bit more attack speed, but I needed the slash damage to be higher than the viral, so unfortunately I had to put Buzzkill on. Organ Shatter, of course, is completely necessary to buff this crit multiplier up, and we needed all three of the melee damage mods. Arguably, Spoiled Strike could be dropped for Primed Reach, for even more multi-hit, or Berserker for even more attack speed, but I quite like the way this one's built. So, really, it's a bit of a strange one, and just bear with me, once I'm in mission you should be able to see just how this weapon does, because it truly mulches through enemies. And when you come up against something like a Bombard, which you might have a bit of trouble with, you're going to find yourself getting those status procs and crit procs, and dealing with it very handily. But for regular enemies, they won't survive the normal hits. So let's go straight in. Oh, that's a lovely crowd. So, as you can see, with my stealth bonus, I'm getting insane amounts, but hopefully something heard that large explosion that just went off when my justice procced. And Swirling Tiger is doing insane amounts of work here. And I truthfully should have checked the combos before I came in, as personally I prefer to use melee weapons unequipped and use their passive combo rather than the active one. So let's very quickly check. And we've got a pause and a hold combo, which is not entirely useful for me, as I like to just mash E and watch the enemies die. So let's do that a bit more. Got a lovely little firing squad here. And we can see, again, this weapon is dealing with enemies extremely easily, despite, on the face, you know, 250 slash damage, 180 viral. It's not that much. But when you take into account that you're going to be critting or getting status procs almost all the time, it really becomes something to be reckoned with. And there you see, I came up against an enemy which maybe would have presented me with challenge, but I got a viral proc off the bat and killed him. And we're getting one of the best synergies in this game, a justice proc staggering enemies whilst you're holding a melee out already so you can instantly perform a finisher on them. And it truly is fantastic, and I can highly recommend this weapon. Unfortunately, being a Prisma weapon, it will only drop off Barrow, but that's not all bad. And when it does come around, I, honestly, you could probably pick this up in trade chat fairly cheap. It's, it's the kind of thing people like to buy in mass quantity and then sell for months after. 
we can see that I just got 200 health back from my Cindy bomb going off, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenal. You heard. Now, seriously, this weapon is amazing, and I can highly recommend you get it. If for no other reason than because it looks immense. I mean, really. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Uh, please forgive the verbal diarrhea I had at the end there. That was a bit... Meh. Yeah. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I'm Blizznub. These are the Prisma Jewel Cleavers. And please like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more.